Hello, today we're going to be talking about the full moon, which is going to be taking place this Tuesday, May 17th, 2011, at 7.09 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time, which is also 4.09 a.m. Pacific Time, and it's also uh, 12.09 Greenwich Time in England. So, um, what is the full moon? The full moon is uh, when the, the moon and the sun are exactly opposite each other, um, and therefore, uh, there's a lot of consciousness around our feelings and what we need. And um, our needs, our feelings usually bring out uh, what we need to take action on. What are the things that we, that we want in our lives? So it's also a time where we take actions on our new moon intentions that we made uh, at the beginning of the month, with, which this month was on May 3rd, 2011. So the intentions that you made during that time for this month, now is a good time uh, to take actions on them and to see some of the first um, fruits taken from those plants that were see the, the seeds that were planted during that time. Um, now, because it's an oppositional time, it also means that that it has a lot to do with our relationships as well. So we learn a lot during this time from our relationships. A lot of stuff will come up that needs to be addressed in our relationships, uh, in our one-on-one -on -one relationships uh, mainly. Um, and because it's in Scorpio and in, um, in Taurus, uh, the sun and the moon, um, this is a time where some intimate issues might come up, things that are important to us or things that are not being addressed for us emotionally that are uh, of an intimate nature might come up during this time, during the next two weeks uh, in our intimate relationships or in our relationships that we have with people that are, that are very close relationships. Um, now, uh, when we, during the full moon, there's a tendency to want to really express your feelings um, because the moon is opposite the sun. So uh, with the moon in Scorpio, um, I would say, you know, when you when you want to express your feelings and you really want to make uh, bring your point across very clearly to the people in your life, just make sure you don't burn any bridges because with the moon in Scorpio, there's a, there's a certain amount of intensity that is connected uh, to that energy. And sometimes we go a little bit overboard with the moon in Scorpio and we, we get very passionate about what it is that we want to say and what it is that is important to us. So just be aware that, you know, it's not, it's not, there's nothing wrong with being passionate. Just be aware not to completely annihilate the other person or, um, or really do something that, that might cause you, uh, and cause you to destroy the, the relationship, basically. Um, so um, the other thing about the, the, the opposition between uh, the moon in, in Scorpio and the, and the sun in Taurus is that we were called to seek for balance. And the balance is about, you know, what's mine, what's yours, what's important to me, what's important to you, because it's about the, the relationships that we have. Taurus is about our own personal values. Um, and the uh, Scorpio is more about the values we have uh, in, in relationships when we merge, when we are a unit with other people. Um, then, you know, Taurus is also about, you know, accomplishing and, and, and bringing something into form, whereas Scorpio is more about um, transformation, changing things, um, taking things that no longer work for us and, and, and creating something new, creating a new level. Um, and um, uh, Taurus is also about um, more material possessions or traditions, whereas um, Scorpio is more about shared possessions, the shared resources, and um, and it's more about m moving away from tradition uh, and finding a re the real authenticity in things and what we're what is truly our our souls souls calling or our souls nature. So, um, so as you can see, there is some opposition right there, energetically speaking. And so we're asked to seek uh, balance right now during the time of the full moon. And for the next two weeks, we're really being asked to, to find a balance between uh, the, the concrete and the, the form of things and, um, and the, the, 
the way of how we need to maybe transform something to bring it to a, to a deeper level, to bring it to a level that's more authentic and that's more what works for um, what works in a relationship, what works when we merge with other people or with um, with our with partners in our lives. So uh, so that's what the full moon is about. And um, if you want to know where in your chart the full moon is taking place, which this area is definitely going to be highlighted in in conjunction with the area of where the where the sun is right now in your chart, I'll be happy to tell you where you need to find some balance if you email me at sonia at astrologercoach.com and for a small fee I'll, I'll be sending you a written uh, a written astrology forecast for that and um, if you want to um, get your daily astrology updates you can get them on my website at www.astrologercoach.com on the home page if you scroll down all the way to the bottom there will be updates that are directly sent from Twitter onto my uh, onto my website so uh, hopefully you have a fantastic day um, and um, remember the full moon is all about being extroverted and and embracing relationships and and connecting with people and maybe even having a party so go out there and connect um, since it's in Scorpio make it a deep connection make it something that's meaningful to you and to other people and uh, have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you very soon when I come back from my next video blog have a fantastic day bye bye <music>